Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing Goku Ultra Instinct in a fight pose. I have another Ultra Instinct video of him like stepping forward. Um, I did it like a year and a half ago, so I thought I'd update it. This one's significantly a bit harder. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser definitely for a tricky sort of drawing like this. Erase your mistakes, take your time. If I uh, go too fast, you know, just hit pause when I move my hand, you know, just to make it easier on yourself, right? Because it's three quarter pose. We have a small eye, a big eye, two hands. So take your time, right? So center point of my page about here. We'll come over to the right just a little bit. And we're going to start with that W shape that's in the middle of Dragon Ball characters' heads. And it's kind of turned to the side, right? Just gets kind of diagonal sort of W sort of shape there. And we'll start with the big eye, right? So the big eye is the left eye. So it's gonna like curve up. We're gonna go We'll go that far. And then this comes up to about here. And then we'll bring it down like so, okay? So that's the big eye, right? So the eye in underneath, just here. And then the long line, those Dragon Ball sort of, you know, sort of square eyes that they have. And then this comes down like so to about there. And back up. So a little bit of a mistake with that one. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Always making the mistakes. Right, so let us see next. His iris, so half circle just underneath his eyebrow curves around like so. And then his pupil in there. Half circle, smaller, black, right? Now, so we'll do the small eye that goes diagonal this way, right? So the eyebrow again sort of ticks up. We're a bit more vertical and we're going underneath his hair, right? So we can't really see as much, but we'll draw it in anyway. And it's not quite as big as this one. So then this comes up like so. And then we bring it back down. Right, and like a lot of this goes underneath like his hair. So, you know, don't worry about too much of this end. And then his other eye, the box like one goes this way, goes across, and then up here. Okay, again, it's under, uh, it's under his hair, so don't worry too much. And then his iris, so just in under here then, half circle, like so. And his pupil, just we can see a little bit of it just there. Right, so then his nose, right? So comes down just this way, kind of sticks out there, bring it around the top and back. Simple enough noses in Dragon Ball. Might have sort of some wrinkle lines on the side of his nose and we do have that shadow underneath the nose just there. All right, so then his mouth, so real close to the nose now. So we go across and down like so and sort of back up maybe that side a little bit. We could have like a wrinkle line on the side and a line just for his bottom lip just there. All right, so then his chin just down here. So just along, say where it lines up with his mouth sort of here, and it comes across. So we're kind of off center with the chin. See, it's sort of 
underneath this area. The nose is like further out to there. It's because his head is turned away from us, right? It's a three quarter pose. It's the trickiest pose to draw when you're drawing faces. So if you're able to do three quarter pose, you're doing pretty well. Cheek, cheek marks just there. And then he's got like some frown lines just coming up here. And then we'll do his jaw. So it's just like comes out from here. Stops just underneath the edge of his eyebrow and then we change direction and go up towards his ear, which is about in line with his cheek mark there. On the other side, we can just see the side of his face. Comes up here. So we're different on both sides now. And then this goes up and out to there. And then his ear so it sort of curves around. Big ears in Dragon Ball. No offense, Goku. Like so, and then, so we have a hair spike here, right? So his fringe comes, there's four of them. That's sort of standard Goku. So before we do in the bones and ligaments, because the, the hair comes down here. So we'll do this first. So coming out from about here, right? Again, sort of, see, so right, like the middle of his face, kind of over his chin and a curve. We have a curving face, right? So the middle line when you're in three quarter pose, right? So it's just the, the nose and the sort of brow area sort of sticks out further than the middle. That's all. And then, so we'll bring down his hair spike over his eye, right? So it goes down just to here. And then we'll bring it out like so. And then we'll go up back in like so. And if you go over any lines, you can erase them. Hair goes in under here. And the other side will go down. This one sort of goes over his eye, eyebrow, touches his eye, and then heads back this direction. And then we'll go up into here. So this one will go in a little bit as well, but they're, they're not all clearly defined lines. They're just sort of floating. And then this spike out beyond his ear, around. Yeah, roughly to there. And then we got another one out here somewhere. So like here. Up. And then into there. I'll just erase the lines underneath his hair now. All right, so now we can add in his bones and ligaments inside his ear. Easiest way I always say is like this sort of letter J sort of thing going on, right? But you can add more detail if you want. Like so. Every sort of animator seems to draw ears differently, so don't stress too much about that. And he's got like scratch marks on his face. He's in a battle stance, he's in a fight, so. So something like that. All right, we'll finish his hair. So the top two spikes are just, I, I, I doubt I'll fit them in, but if you have more room, just go for it. It's just the top two. They just, the top two spikes of them, I couldn't fit them in. So we'll start here and we'll work our way around. So we've got four spikes on this side and four spikes coming out this side. And we've got that round sort of Goku head shape right here. In fact, I'll probably draw that first, just so we know where we're going. So just about here. Okay, that's kind of the round part of his head, you know, that he has, right? So we'll bring four to there and then four around to there. Four or five anyway, I think five maybe on this side. 
we can see just a little bit of his ear there and then a spike comes out this way roughly to there and then back in right and then the next one comes up like so so real big now bigger than you you think next one there and then this comes out from here sort of curves around like that and then we bring it back in so this is the biggest spike now so it goes off i'd say yeah it'll go off the top just there and it will come back in like here so if you more room you can just bring those two lines where they meet just up off my page there and then another big spike here goes up off my page back that way somewhere should I maybe curve a little bit more maybe curve that way a little bit more yeah sort of curves back that way that can be a texture line you know and he's got like a single strand I think just sticking up here and then we've got four coming up from behind this ear now so roughly there and then we we'll go in with another one and then this goes up relatively big and then comes back and then this one spikes up that way such distinctive hair goku it's, it's it's amazing how an anime can make such a thing about hair hair color hair shape it's great so creative that he can do so many different things with the character's hair anyway speaking of hair we need texture lines right so we need to put sort of these lines in like this right and you just do that on each one just sort of follow the shape of each hair spike and do as much as you want there's no sort of rule for this you're just following each shape all right but i think that's enough for me anyway so we'll go down and do his body so again tilted awkward pose right so really go slow with this so we'll try to get his torso in first and then build the arms out right so where does his chest begin i'm gonna say right so like the center line for his chest kind of curves this way right so kind of like here right and then we got like a chest muscle that will go back this way right and then the chest will come underneath So a line this way, this is the center line for his body. So then this chest muscle goes up underneath his cheek, comes out sort of here. And then it'll go down like this way. All right, like this, right? So real big chest muscle. It goes into here. Right, so I'm not closing this one off now because it goes into his shoulder. So like we've got like you know, like a shoulder muscle line like somewhere here. Okay. So that's the tilt, right? So chest muscle lines here. 
some coming off this way as well. So we've got a nipple, like there, nipple, there, right? So in the side of his torso, his body, right, the rest of it. So we'll go down here, bump out for abs. Lots of them, he's a muscly dude. So it's like ribs and abs and stuff. And then his diaphragm will follow this sort of line for the body, right? So it goes that way. Maybe a line curves back here. And then there, and then that'll go like underneath his arm somewhere. Like here. So you have like rib lines and things, and then more abs here. Okay, so his neck muscles up here. So we'll go down from his ear. Just sort of trying to clean this up now. Right, so we have a neck muscle there, right? And then sort of Adam's apple comes down like so. Neck muscles in on this side. Another sort of neck muscle here, neck muscle line like so. And then his shoulder will bump up here and we'll have his trapezius that goes in behind his head. Okay, so let's just go. So we got like bump that way. And then another bump like this. And then another bump around like that. And then your trapezius goes back into here. And then we have another sort of line in there. And like trapezius muscle lines that way. Like so, right. So we'll finish this arm first, then we'll do this one, right? So this is like his deltoid muscles in his shoulder and you have three of them. So in anatomy, right, so you've got like the first one. So one. Second one. As far as I know, you have three deltoids in here. And then the third one comes down. And we can't see all of this one because it goes like in behind his hand, right? But roughly, that's it there, right? Like so. Right, so then his bicep. So this is like his chest and his, we'll go down. So we'll go down to here, right? So his, his chest kind of touches his bicep. So there's like muscle lines there. And like we're about head width out. See for his shoulders, so like the width of his head you go out, that's how far you want the shoulder to be, roughly. Okay. And then his bicep comes down. Around like so. And this again goes into his hand, so we can't see all of it. His tricep then, underneath the bicep, down here and then we have his forearm and his wristband just here right so right, so let's see so forearm sort of curves around here right and it comes down and we can just see muscle lines and his elbow just there so this should be maybe not pointy, make it a curved line. Like 
that and then this goes up like so and so everything is kind of foreshortened right so everything kind of looks real stumpy sort of and then his wristband now so comes out say comes around here and it's kind of jaggedy and sort of torn and stuff And we got like some bumps and folds and things and this just comes around here like that okay roughly and his hand the hand is coming towards us so it's like the biggest thing right on the camera so it's probably like the same size as his face height wise right even bigger up to his fringe right so real big so we've got like some perspective going on here so you know take your time now with it it's not easy so we've got like fist right so up straight right and then we'll go across for a knuckle, up and down. Right, and then we'll bring three more knuckles down. And we'll go down sort of like the steps on a stairs. Right, like so. Right, so you're kind of going down, step, down, step, down, step, down. Little fingers kind of more tucked in. And then we can just see side of his little finger here, like so. And we got some like skin folds, and maybe we can see like the side of that finger, but not much. And then this finger comes down here. This one comes down like so. Got like some skin it's down there. Maybe some skin on this one as well. And then there's like some knuckle lines. So, maybe something here, question, there, just trying to, yeah, there, that's maybe too long, but, and like another sort of line here, and maybe something there, like so, and his thumb then just comes out from behind these fingers here, bumps around, like so, the thumb really makes it, it'd look weird without the thumb, that's interesting, and this comes around, down to there, okay, and we can maybe see like a little bump again for like whatever muscle that is, just in there. Scratch marks again, all over. Just to make it look like he's a bit beat up. Been through the ringer, as they say. Uh, can we see ripped clothing down here a little bit? Okay, now the other arm, so so we can see shoulder line here. Okay, and then this will go sort of back into his chest over here for a deltoid, maybe another line there. And then another shoulder muscle line there. And then his bicep so it comes out, starts to come out here, and it'll go into his hand, right? So maybe we should draw the hand first, will we? No. Right, we'll just go bicep first. 
right? And if we go too far or too short, we can just fix it after, okay? Because his hand is like right here. So I guess we'll just do the knuckles, right? So we do one, two, No, that should go further, should it? Thumb, maybe, there, yeah. And then this one comes out like so. That one's really big for some reason. Did I, is that a mistake? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, and, right, that's his, this is his little finger, okay? So his pinky just comes around here, like that. Then the top of his hand up is up here. And that kind of comes back like so down and then we've got like a knuckle here right and his thumb is on this side of this hand so thumb usually makes it look like a more like a hand right maybe not in this one <laughs> um and we just have like the back of his wristband just here. Comes around and goes over to his pinky area up there. There's like more folds and things on it. So these are all fingers. So we do knuckle down to there. We'll do another knuckle down this way. Then a knuckle down here. Line there. Hand line that way. Knuckle lines, knuckle lines. And then there's some knuckles back here as well. So like there's one going that way as far as pinky. Like so, and then another one here. Here and that's that one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the bicep is right there then, and then the top of that bicep goes there, and then his tricep sort of comes out from behind his ear and goes into his hand. And you know, might be. Should there be maybe another sort of bumping line there? that and then his forearm and elbow and wristband and stuff just stick out back here so wristband first like that and let's see that goes into there and then we go out again So that's his elbow, Maybe like a forearm line. And then. Like that, maybe like another sort of muscle line there. Like so, and another tricep line just sort of comes across here. Okay, is that it? I think it is. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's everything. That is how to draw Goku, Ultra Instinct. Hope it was helpful, that's challenging now, especially with the hand and the body pose and everything like that. But you know, if you were able to do it, let me know. I do like feedback, you know, if this is way too hard and there's no point in me doing it, let me know. <laughs> and I'll just do standard sort of easier poses. But I um, hope it was helpful for someone out there anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.